the first challenge is to agree on what are the headline goals when it comes to EU defense. The EU reaction to the Russian war of aggression in Ukraine has been a way to accelerate the thinking about that. There are still divergences. Clearly, uh, Ursula von der Leyen raised the bar very high when she referred to the uh, creation of a defense commissioner position in the next commission. But beyond the rhetoric, I mean, progress will have to be made, agreement will have to be found uh, if we want really to uh, lay the foundation of a joint European defense and defense policy. Second challenge, uh, the implementation of the transitions, the famous twin transitions, the Green Deal and the digital transition. A very ambitious legislative framework has been put into place, including legislation that were adopted thanks to the untiring efforts of the Belgian presidency during the first part of the presidency. But now it has to translate into structural changes in our way of life. Uh, it has to also confirm the ambition of the initial Green Deal that it is a growth model. That's to say, we'll have to find a way to translate the Green Deal into a strong, consolidated, independent EU industrial policy. This applies also to the follow-up of the digital transition. We have known standards the DMA, the DSA, the Artificial Intelligence Act. But let's be fair, the EU is lagging behind in terms of innovation. For instance, there is no equivalent to the uh, huge platform, the TikTok uh, X or uh, Facebook of this world, which is European based. Uh, we are not in the cloud business. So this will find, we'll have, we'll have to find a way to catch up. Uh, on this. And of course, I mean, ahead of us is the challenge of the next enlargement. I think that as we speak, this will be left to the new leadership of the EU, that neither an outgoing commission nor a European Parliament about to leave the scene will want to, I mean, by any means influence the process that will start at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year. But clearly everybody is aware of the challenges uh, in terms of budget, in terms of policies, and in terms of institutional reforms that will be needed. So I think that even if there is no willingness to engage too much into that before the end of the Belgian presidency, before the end of the semester, some serious conversation will have to take place to at least lay the foundation uh, of the way we are going to tackle this enlargement uh, challenge.